let's add and subtract complex numbers. And the easiest way to think about this is to say, what would you do if you had variables? So if we have a plus bi, which is a complex number, and another one, c plus di, and we were just adding these, well, we just take our a and our c, because those are like variables, and our bi and our di, because those are like complex numbers, and we add them together. And so our final result is a plus c plus b plus d. Let's make that green so it stands out. b plus d i. But it's simply a matter of combining like terms. We just pretend that the i is like a variable. And so let's look at an example or two. Suppose we have 2 plus 3i plus minus 6 plus 7i. Well, we just take the 2 plus the minus 6, which is minus 4. 3i plus 7i is 10i. So we've added those together, and we get our result. And there's another example. Suppose we have 5 oops, plus square root of minus 36 plus 2 minus the square root of minus 49. Now before we can go any farther, we need to create our complex numbers. These aren't in complex form yet. So this is really 5 plus. The negative becomes an i. Square root of 36 is 6. And this is 2 minus i. Square root of 49 is 7. There's a plus between there. So now we just add them together. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 minus 7 is minus i. And there's our answer. For subtraction, it works the same way. Minus 3 plus 7i minus 5 minus 4i. Now when we did this with variables, remember we always move the negative into the second set of parentheses. So then we get negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8, plus 7 plus 4 is 11i. So if we can remember our polynomial rules, adding and subtracting complex numbers is very similar.